I know we've been through some rough times so far, but you need to stop letting it get to you. Easy. I'm just pointing it out. And if I notice, others are going to. If you think Jedi are unpopular, think of the reception a fallen Jedi will get. Alright, what did you want to know? Alright, but I'm out of credits, so it's Republic Senate rules. Something up? General, need something. I moved around for a couple years. Working as a starship mechanic got me from place to place. I wasn't ready to settle down after the war. And I don't think I'll be the last. As long as I kept moving, I didn't have to think about what happened. Know what I mean? Maybe if I had the Force to lean on, I could have worked it out. But then, the Force didn't seem to be of much help to others. I decided I'd do something constructive. I wanted to make up for the things I'd done in the war. I wanted to design planetary shields, but there weren't many systems with the credits to spare. There was more that needed to be rebuilt than protected. I found out that Telos was going to be the flagship project for the Republic, and it sounded like something good. I saw Telos before the Sith raised it, and deserved a better fate. But Zerka ruined everything. I thought I could force Zerka out on my own, but I guess I can't fix everything myself. All I wanted to do was send a message, but I couldn't even do that right. That's the past, though. It's good to be working with you again, General. Something else I can help you with? 
I got tired of it. Kept dropping my hydro spanner. Figured I'd get a new one. If you were me, you'd probably want to joke about it too. Actually, it was a souvenir from Malachor. I was lucky I didn't lose more. But at least it gave me something to do, right? Everyone always said I was probably half machine anyway. Something else I can help you with? That old thing? I built him when I was a kid. Been following me around for years now, despite what I've done to try and chase him off. Hey, just kidding. I'm happy to have you. I would, but then I wouldn't be the only one with a floating sphere following him around. And I kind of like that. It's not that bad. I guess you'd know. You've always got someone following you around. He helps me out with repairs. I outfitted him with a cutting laser and some other tools for delicate modifications. He's also good for singeing the pants of annoying techs. I've been thinking about doing some other work on him, but I barely have time. Too busy fixing up the ship. Something else I can help you with? Mercenaries, right where we need to go. That sentry droid probably spotted us already. Great. They were probably looking for me when they saw your shuttle go down. We could try handing the Zabrak over. You know, bargaining chip? Who do you think shot you down in the first place? Good point. Forget I said anything. scenario.
Another sentry droid. The mercenaries must be using them to locate us. There's probably another patrol nearby. I feel a sense of calm when I walk the surface of Telos. The Athorians are truly amazing in their work. Amazing at wasting the Republic's credits, maybe. But now that you mention it, I think I feel it too. Like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. Quiet. There's a large mercenary patrol up ahead. If we move carefully, we could cross along the shore or head along the cliffs to the south. I'll follow close. <laughs>
There's the landing pad. There should be a computer terminal I can access from there. Looks like we're gonna have to fight our way there, though. Why do you say that? What do we have here? The Jedi. Saves us the trouble of looking for you. Corin Fault did say you were dangerous. Maybe he does know what he's talking about. Attack! <laughs>
Hopefully, I'll be able to access the shield network from this console. Good. It's functional, and my passcodes still work. Now let's find your ship. The TSF probably thinks the ship was put down in the wastes, but they don't know the planet as well as I do. Telos's atmosphere has been turned into acidic vapor. Landing a ship in the wastes would be like sealing it in a hangar full of hungry Minox. I'd say there's probably an illegal landing site somewhere, then. So that means there's probably an unsanctioned landing site somewhere on the planet. Still shielded, but not a restoration zone or other listed facility. That's why I need access to the shield network. Here, a small anomaly in the shield network's power grid. I'm not surprised the TSF didn't spot this. It's subtle, more like an error or random flux than anything suspicious. It looks like power is being drawn to generate a shield over a small area in the polar region, but nothing should be down there. Orbital cameras show nothing, just an empty mesa. That's a little tougher. According to the computer, a shuttle is currently docked inside the research facility. At least there was at last report, though that was months ago. I don't, but that's not going to stop me. I'm getting back to Citadel if I have to build a new ship myself. That's decided then. We should get going. There's one other small problem. Recently, Zerka teams that were sent into the military facility have not been coming out. But it's not as though we have any choice. 